look, parents are discovering this is really a predicament that many pharmacies right now, it's commonplace that they're low on supplies, everything from antibiotics to antivirals, even kids over-the-counter medication. Look at this headline. The Global Times carried it two days back. It says Chinese pharmaceutical firms are operating at their full capacity to address cold medicine shortage. A lot of people having a tough time finding fever-reducing medicine to help with symptoms. We've seen empty store shelves for children's Tylenol and Motrin, like you hear, see at a store here in Fort Bend County. Lauren Tallarico is showing us tonight what options parents have. All these respiratory illnesses are driving up demand for children's medicines, and some pharmacy shelves are now empty. Carter Evans shows us how some families are dealing, dealing with the shortage. I had to go to four different stores. It took Megan Shane Hair a whole day to find medicine for her 19-month-old daughter when her fever spiked. And this was a dream that I had on June the 8th. And in this dream, I saw two medicine bottles. They were two white medicine bottles. And I heard the words, two medicines that can't be seen. And then I saw my hands over my eyes as if I were trying to make binoculars with my hands, uh, just like that. And what the Lord was revealing to me is that there will be two known medicines in particular that we will start to see a shortage in. And because my hands were like binoculars over my eyes, God was showing me that this is something that he was allowing me to see what was coming. And also, the Lord has been laying on my heart that a lot of you have been receiving prophetic words, dreams, and visions that are from him. And God said, don't be afraid to speak out the things that he shows you, no matter how crazy it may seem to others. A lot of people may not understand prophecy and others may look at you like you're crazy, but trust in what God shows you and speaks to you about. 